Hello, hello, and welcome back to Bella Star Reading. Today I will be doing a reading for Amy Winehouse. I've been wanting to do a channeled reading with a deceased star, so I was recommended Amy Winehouse. And I have never really listened to her music before, uh, except for was her most famous one, Rehab. I have heard of that one on the radio. And I must say, she has a fabulous voice, or had, I should say. She still has in spirit. She still has a fabulous voice. And I love her style. Just, yeah, just fantastic style. Love the vintage look that she had. And she's a British singer. She was born in September 14th, so she's a fellow Virgo. No wonder I like her. It's just so sad what happened to her. Yeah, I just know that What's common with the music industry, unfortunately, a lot of singers tend to fall into the trap of drug addictions, and unfortunately, just, you know, they end up perishing from an overdose. It's sad. It's sad. It's a sad part of the industry that we lose such great artists in such a manner. But we will get to know a little bit more about her and see exactly what her purpose in life was even if it was short there was always a purpose and to see kind of get to an idea of what kind of drove her in that direction so let's get to it we are going to dive right in and do pick a card to see what is her energy or what she which card best describes her that's how I usually like to get to know them, just to see and channel who they were. All right. So which card best describes Amy Winehouse? All right, this one wants to come out. So we got emotion. Very emotional. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll start with that. All right, so move some stuff around here. All right, so emotion. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I got that. Besides being vintage, like having that aesthetic, she loved the macabre. I, I was picking that up too. She loved anything to do with the macabre, whether it be skulls, a darker aesthetic, a somewhat gothy. Yeah, she would have, besides smoking, I think she smoked weed. But she would like burn incense. That was one of her enjoyments. It's like being stimulated by smells. She was very much a night person. And again, with the Virgo being earthy and grounded. She had a dry sense of humor. Very witty. Getting very sexual too. Like I'm seeing these could possibly be like sex toys. <laughs> mm-hmm. She was an experimental type of person. Not just um, sexually, but in life in general. She was very experimental. She liked to try different things, and that's probably what led her down the drug, uh, with the drug addictions. Could 
because she did like to get this high and be amongst the stars to have like a spiritual experience because that's what drugs and hallucinogens originally were for they were for ritualistic purposes to have a spiritual experience and she highly enjoyed that but again it can be addicting so she just fell into that trap as well as being a coping mechanism for the stresses of being in the music industry and constantly having to be on tour have an active schedule because rest having a rest and down period was very important to her so that's why she enjoyed her quiet times like very late at night like early morning around 2 3 a.m like that was her time maybe 4 4 a.m But she loved her job. She loved singing. She loved being on stage. She loved being the center of attention. She loved meeting other stars and interacting with other stars. That was like the peak of her career, the most enjoyment she had. Getting to experience a brief time of high luxury. Because being of the earth, you can be materialistic in that sense. So she was materialistic. She did enjoy the finer things. Even though she was an emotional person, I feel that she lashed out quite a bit. She had some anger issues. Very volatile, especially when she was under the influence of alcohol or drugs. She lashed out quite a bit. Yeah, I just see her throwing punches. So I think I did read up a little bit about that. I think she did hit a fan or something. What else about Amy Winehouse? To get to know her. I feel she had a cat. She liked cats. The elegance of cats. Getting reading too, like before she got into the drug and stuff when she was younger, she enjoyed reading. Like I see a little like book nook by a window. She liked reading on rainy days. I guess it rains quite a bit in London. <laughs> Never been, I would like to go. She was a bit lonely as a child because she was very unique. Didn't have that many friends. She had a few that were that were close, but she she was a bit ostracized within her family. Because of her likes and interests. I think she came from a very traditional family. Alright, 
I think that's all I'm getting from this card about her. Okay, so we will get in and see what was her life purpose? One thing I always do before these readings is I always astral project to the spirit to see if I can get permission to do readings for them. And with Amy Winehouse, like I'm in contact with her higher self right now, but her conscious 3D spirit, I guess is like a part of her is haunting a pub in London because she's repeating the cycle of performing and then using drugs and drinking. That's why she's that part of her soul's re constantly repeating. It's like, cause when, when we pass or when we, when we die, depending on what we've done in that life, we could create our heaven or we can create our hell. So it's like kind of like a sense of purgatory. She's very regretful for the things that she has done, but she feels like she has to repeat these as a form of punishment for herself. It's very sad. I don't know if it's like what pub it is or what bar it is in London that she's haunting. It could be one of her first, one of the first places she performed at. So like getting a lot of smoke. There's a lot of smoke. And I think it's a place that sells a lot of whiskey or bourbon. One of those smokier drinks. Not really a fan of those, <laughs> but it's that, that vibe, that environment that she's in. Cause besides the stage, it's like a, it's a pretty small stage. I see like a, a stool and like a wooden stool and a mic and then off to size, there's like these booths in darkened corners. So it's a pretty dark lit place. But yeah, part of her spirit is still haunting there as a form of repeating cycles as a form of punishment that she's putting upon herself. It's going to take time for her to finally leave. Unfortunately, it's not my job to help spirits cross. Otherwise, I, I would. Because I have tried helping a spirit cross over before, but then I got reprimanded by Persephone. So it's like, I learned my lesson. It's not my job. But doing readings like this and helping the spirit get messages through about their life or whatever messages they want to give across is a form of helping them. So that is what I'm doing here to help Amy in some way. But yes, we will see what was her main purpose. For her life, what was the main purpose that she was there? What was the main purpose? got two that flew out. We got air spirit with knowledge and reflecting pool with stillness. I see actually 
this is in regards to this is very interesting so the purpose of her life is actually what her spirit is experiencing right now as i was just talking her spirit is haunting a pub and she's reliving cycles of performing and substance abuse and that is her main lesson is learning the consequences of that and taking time and the stillness to reflect on her life and her actions of how she ended up where she ended up. Because she's very much caught, even though she was an emotional person in spirit right now, she's caught in her mind. She feels trapped. See all this fog here in this card. It's like she's lost. Mm. And it's interesting how both cards here have like a swan image. This kind of does look like her too. I did see that Amy Winehouse had a lot of tattoos. So it's seeing the beauty that she had. Even though her life was short, it was still a beautiful life. and to come to terms with the beauty within herself, within her soul. Because she didn't really see it when she was alive. She really has to take time, even in spirit, to look at herself in the mirror, to truly see her uniqueness, her beauty. And sometimes you can only do that after life. It's in death. That's when you can have the stillness to reflect. Anything else from this? It's very interesting how how that turned out. Fascinating. I always find it interesting. I always find it interesting to learn knowledge about the afterlife. And this is one way to do so. Alright. Um, now I got two tarot decks here. I'm going to allow her higher self to come through and to share, like, what's the major thing that she wants to share? Like, the, the message that she wants to get across. What's the major message that she wants to share? Yes, what is the message that Amy Winehouse wants to share? So we have Knight of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. And Page of Swords. Just these? Okay. Oh, forgot one over here. I guess this is relevant. King of Pentacles. So I'll leave that here. And on the back was the world. I'll leave that here as well. All right. So what's the message about her life that she wants to get across? Hmm. As I mentioned, she was a very 
expansive person. She loved traveling and seeing the world and being influenced by the world. Again, that was one of the highlights of reaching the level of stardom that she did because then she was able to go on tour around the world. She had hoped to achieve this Ten of Pentacles. She wanted a stable life. She wanted a family. She wanted the abundance. She wanted a partner, a solid partner. But there's a lot of regret, just so much regret I'm feeling for the actions. She was very brash with her actions, very immature. I feel she was swayed by other people too to start doing drugs. I think she was trying, trying to suppress her fears. She had fears and anxiety. Even though she was authentic to a point, she was, she still had that fear because the way she grew up, Again, she was the black horse or the black sheep of the family. She was very alone as a child within her family. And because of that criticism for her authenticity, she was trying to hide that fear with the world. So she succumbed to substance abuse to try and suppress those fears of being criticized for her actions, especially when she started doing drugs and how that affected her body and how she looked. She's on defense a lot. She constantly felt like she had to fight. Fight the opinions, fight the paparazzi. She's saying, don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. Hmm. All right, that's all I'm getting from these. So then I'll ask some random questions. King of Swords came out. Hmm. This could have been a father figure who was very judgmental of her. Hmm. All right. So then she will enjoy this deck. It's the Antique Anatomy Tarot. Has a sense of the macabre that she likes. I love this deck too. All right. already tackled her past a little bit. Hmm. I guess what were your main aspirations in life? What were your main aspirations in life?
Hmm. Got a page of blades, just swords again, came out. And the Hierophant. She did have a sense of being traditional. Kind of pulls me back to that Ten of Pentacles, the traditional family. She had, I see this as more of a light energy. She had light dreams, like innocent dreams of having some kind of tradition, traditional outcome in their life. Like I said, traditional family. She wanted that for herself. Mm. Let's see. What was the highlight of your life? What was the highlight of your life? Just take the top one here. Okay. The Knight of Rods. Having very passionate experiences with lovers. <laughs> I was kind of picking that up. <laughs> she definitely had a lot of fun times. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing uh, passionate collaboration works too with music. She loved collaborating. That helped instill some passion into her creativity. Mm-hmm. I guess just a sensitive subject here. What exactly drove you to the drug addiction? What was it exactly? Hmm. Interesting how the King of Coins, the King of Pentacles came out again. Take these. All right, we have the Five of Coins. And the Eight of Coins. Hmm. She had some disappointment with this King of King of Pentacles. I think it was because as I said with the previous deck, she had dreamed of finding this stable partner, but she was never able to, she was disappointed that she wasn't able to find him because she was so consumed with work. So to kind of take her mind off of finding this love, she that was also another reason why she started using substances to kind of forget that. So she could focus more on her work. I'm also seeing this could also be someone within the music industry, like the recording studio or whatever company she worked with, someone higher up. Introduced her to the drugs. So it could be twofold of what that card means. Hmm. Hmm. 
let's see, one more. I guess when, oh, I was gonna ask when um, will her spirit be out of that purgatory state? Five of, or the four of cups. Hmm. Still a lot of sadness. There's so much sadness. Oh, oh, I just got hit with a wave of her spirit there. Wow. Oh, so much. So much sadness, just drinking away her pain. Uh, yeah, it's just going to take some time for her to find peace. I don't know how much time that is. I know, I just saw 12, like. 12 more years. Wow. I'm just looking at, wow. Heroin, morphine. Uh, arsenic. I think this is cyanide. So the drugs. Oh, wow. Oh, cards don't lie. Ay. Well, I guess the best thing that the fans could do for Amy Winehouse is just send prayers, send love towards her spirit, and hope that she can find some peace in time. If you want, send flowers to her grave or... If you know of the pub that I was mentioning of, or the um, the bar, whatever venue I was mentioning, if you know what it was that I was describing, because I have no idea, take a flower there or something. Okay, that's it with these and then I will just get some final messages that she wants to give to us. All right. But just remember, even though it's sad, it's very sad energy here, it is a lesson that her spirit is going through. So even if she's trapped in haunting a specific location and going through these bad cycles, it's her soul's lesson. And she will get through it in time. And she will be able to fully cross over and get to a resting place. It will happen. It will happen. Like I said, maybe in another 12 years time. All right, any messages that you want to give across? Excitement with firecracker. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And November. Hmm. Okay, it's not really so much a message for the fans. Again, it's just interesting how things fall out. But it's just reiterating, if you're in a similar energy as 
how Amy was, like if you're a firecracker type of person, because that's who she was. She was very much a firecracker, very energetic, very passionate. But there were people who were against her and criticized her, which then caused depression and anxiety. She felt that she there were a lot of people against her and she had to fight against that. So she's saying if you were similar to her, if you are in a similar energy like that, where you're a firecracker and you're being your authentic self and you feel that people are out to get you and criticize you, go into a state of hibernation. Go to a place of stillness within yourself and find that love and warmth within yourself. And I'm just getting the image of going into yourself during winter or the beginnings of winter and starting a fire and staying warm by the fire because that is your fire and tend to it. Tend to your fire. It's giving yourself that self-love. Very important. Very important. Yes. All right. I'll get some more here. Right. Are there any other messages? That Amy wants to give? What other messages do you want to give? Got Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. In hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Hmm. Wow, I'm feeling this is a direct call from her spirit. It's like she needs some help. Help and guidance. So for the fans because she sees this new opportunity to call for help. So if there are any fans, yeah, if there's any Wiccan fans out there of Amy Winehouse, if there's like, if you could go to the pub that I described, or if you know of that place, the location where her spirit is haunting. Go there and see if you can ask permission to do some kind of ritual for those who have permission to help spirits cross. Again, it might take time for her to truly let go, but as long as she has some kind of assistance. I've never really tried a ritual like that, but for those who are knowledgeable in doing so. She's calling for help. And her higher self wants that to happen. She, her, her spirit that's trapped needs some assistance. Mm-hmm just to help alleviate some of the, the blocks. Are there anything else? Nope, I think that is all. So please give a like and subscribe as this will be a form of um, energy exchange. So I gotta tell myself I can't give away things for free. There has to be some kind of energy exchange here. So the best way to do that is liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting. And if you feel called to do so, 
uh, leave a tip and donation. There's a link in the description below. I also offer celebrity readings and personal readings through Etsy. So if you're interested in that, the links will be in the description below as well. All right. Give a like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.